Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, today, we're going to continue the second part of our professional education from 51. So we're done with the 1 to 150. And this afternoon, we're going to continue from 51 to 100. And we will be having a live discussion also uh, from time to time. P please don't forget to subscribe my channel. This is Professional Career Center of Excellence and avail free review online. Okay, so professional education, we are now in number 51, all right? Number 51, the direct requests of the school demanded that teachers should encourage their student to go beyond simple recall and comprehension. Instead, she said that students should think about their thinking or think about thinking. And if the teacher will follow the director's instruction, the student will develop their, their skills. A, drill skills, metacognitive skills, C, hypothesis skills, or D, cognitive skills. Okay, the correct answer is metacognitive skills because thinking about thinking talks about metacognition. Okay, and the correct answer is letter B. Number 52, to show disapproval to the misbehavior of a student, teacher clears his throat and looks, uh, looks intently the hearing student. This classroom management style is commonly known as what? Direct appeal, signal interference, dropping of name, or deep proximity control. Clearing of throat uh, represent signals. So therefore, it is B, signal interference, all right? So there are certain ways or techniques to manage classroom behavior. One of that is direct appeal, where the teacher is now appealing appealing to the student to stop the misbehavior. That is direct appeal. They give it uh, the instruction or the appeal was sent directly to the students, mis, uh, misbehaving students, I mean. So when you talk about signal interference, it refers to uh, three uh, or two uh, or different types of uh, uh, signals. For example, under signal interference, we have the eye contact. We have also the clearing of throat. Finger pointing, snapping of fingers. Those are examples of signal interference. And signal interference is the correct answer here for clearing of throat. Letter C, dropping of name, or some books call that name calling. And letter D, proximity control. So proximity control, proximity refers to space. And if there's somebody misbehaving at the back, the teacher can freely roam around the classroom and go to this person who is really... Um, how do you call that, uh, misbehaving at the back. So the presence of the teacher near the misbehaving student will stop this mis the, their misbehavior. So that is proximity control. All right, number 53. The teacher feels that he is somebody who lives in an ivory tower. This ideal relationship between student and teacher is shown by A, prejudice towards the poor. B, exercising favoritism. C, teacher is pretending that he knows everything and the respect towards each other. So the, 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 the best answer is letter C, when the teacher is pretending he knows everything. So that is the idol or ivory tower. So I am higher than you. That is the concept of a teacher. So uh, this time, in a progressive style, there are some students who are really good and very advanced. So students, uh, students are very uh, assertive in what they know. Uh, in traditional way, the teacher is so uh, uh, defending their role as a teacher, but it was not the way right now. Right now, teachers should uh, be flexible because most of the student now is even more knowledgeable in terms of computer, in terms of technology, than the teacher. And the teacher should not feel in the classroom that act, acting like they are omniscient. So when they are omniscient, they are all-knowing. And there is, uh, that could be also a barrier to learning, all right? So pag, uh, pag meron ng teacher gap between the students in terms of the learning process, na feeling niya mas matalino siya, there will be problem in in uh, the learning process or the communication between the teacher and the student. Number 54, refers to the science of developing a plan to attain goal and to guard against undesirable results. Teaching device, 
strategy of teaching, methods of teaching, technique of teaching. The correct answer is letter C, methods of teaching. Why methods of teaching? This is a plan. A plan to attain goal to guard against undesirable results. All right? So when you talk about strategy of, uh, of teaching, uh, this is the biggest or the macro thing or the biggest thing against technique, okay? But when you say method, it's a logical method. So yung strategy natin at saka yung technique is our manner how to, how to deliver our lesson. Yung method is the procedure how to give the lesson. And when it talks about the science of developing a plan, that could refer to a method, right? And that is letter C. Number 55, a teacher Anne, she would like to compare and contrast plant cell versus animal cell. She would uh, most likely use a KWL chart, B, tree diagram, C, Venn diagram, or D, fishbone diagram. Okay, these are different forms of graphic organizer. The correct answer is letter C, and that is a Venn diagram. What is KWL? KWL stands for, it's a table standing for K for what you know, uh, w is what you want to know. L is what you have learned. Okay? And uh, the tree diagram, on the other hand, this normally refers to a tree, family tree. Um, there are some uh, branches, just like science. Uh, th those are things. What about fishbone diagram? Fishbone diagram is normally utilized when the presentation of the graphic is uh, cause and effect. Okay, for comparison, of course, Venn diagram. Number 56. Under the learning to do, which of the following instrument must be acquired so that a person can perform his work effectively? We're talking about pillars of learning. So there, uh, originally, there are four pillars of the learning. There is learning to know, learning to do, learning to be, and learning to live together. Okay, That's uh, the pillars of learning being issued by UNESCO. In some uh, internet uh, sites, they provided another one, the fifth pillar of learning, and that is learning to transform oneself to another. So very simple po pag-identify natin ang different types of learning. So learning to do refers to a skill. Learning to know purely knowledge. Learning to live uh, together that is your relationship towards other people. And when you talk about learning to be the holistic change of individual into a better person. So alam naman natin, you know, the entire life of the people is a learning process. We must learn to unlearn and relearn. So when you talk about learn, unlearn, and relearn, relearn it refers to a process magagamit natin sa sarili natin. May mali tayo, let's unlearn. But we need to relearn again for a better, uh, better person. All right? So our goal towards life is to become a better person, not hindi yung yung ano pa, pa urong, all right? So that is learning uh, learning to be. The other one is learning to transform oneself and society. This one refers to uh learning process where you uh, learn pillars of learning where in you are going to willing to sacrifice for the for the sake of others. So willing to sacrifice yourself for, for the need of other people. Willing to sacrifice yourself for the need of the family. Willing to sacrifice yourself for the need of your loved one. So those are, that is the another pillar. So in add yun ng UNESCO siguro because nakikita nila na uh, learning is not supposed only to be, to be for oneself, to be your student, but uh, but yung willing ka mag for the for the entire humanity, right? So the, here are the options. Number one, uh, letter A rather, compromise. Letter B, insight. C, competence. And D, communication. You have to remember the clue in the question and that is learning to do. And when you say to do, that is a skill. That is something you have to perform. And it refers to compromise, insight, competence, communication. The best answer there is letter C, and that is competence. Number 57. What do you think would be the action of a teacher who found out that has proven and has proven that his principal is involved in the malversation of funds of their school? A. Ignore what the teacher has discovered about the, this action of the principal. 
B. Circulate these issues and let it become a gossip. C. Present the charge to a competent authority. Or D. Malign her through an anonymous letter. So there are some people who are not that so professional. They send letters or distribute or disseminate bad information, judgmental information to another person without even presenting the charge to the competent authority. If you really know that you are in the right stand, if you really know that you are correct, uh, if you really know that you are your teacher is uh, doing something wrong, you can do that by presenting the charge to competent authority. Now the question is, who is competent authority? So if you are having issues against your teacher, the competent authority must be the principal. Hindi tawag natin through channel. If you have issues about your principal, you can may, maybe go to the higher level, maybe the supervisor. Or if you have an issue to the supervisor or to the principal, you go to the superintendent and so on. But it must be a proper authority, not your neighbors or your friends. Number 58. Pero alam you guys, ito kasi yung nakikita natin sa buhay, ano? But when you are teaching, just like us, we are preparing for the review, we are preparing for the board exam, napaka-idealistic natin. Kasi what will come out in the actual board exam is thinking what is ideal to be done by a teacher. But in the actual reality, hindi naman talaga nangyayari dyan. No? Sa actual reality, yung nangyayari talaga, yung opposite ng what is ideal. So, ma'am, ano yung magiging sagot namin sa actual board exam? So, yung sagot natin sa actual board exam is what is ideal. Kasi, yun yung yun yung nakakadaan yun yung nararapat okay uh, here so teacher lay is a new teacher she realizes uh, that handling her students misbehavior is a very demanding aspect of a classroom management in this regard she thought of giving up teaching what advice can you give her a report every student misbehavior to the principal hindi naman tama yan ano lahat na parang it reflects you as a teacher na pag hindi mo mamanage yung misbehavior ng mga estudyante mo sa classroom, ibig sabihin you are not psychologically equipped. B. Agree with class on what rules to follow. Or C. Set the ground issues for the whole class. Or D. None of the above. Okay? So what do you think is the best answer here? Set the ground issues for the whole class. Yun ang galing sa'yo, ipa-implement mo sa Sa, sa klase mo or what do you think B is the best answer agree with class on what rules to follow which is which is which and the correct answer here is letter B once there is now an agreement between the class and the students that would be uh, observable ibig sabihin the student will observe that rules because they have agreed it upon so therefore Always consider students' involvement in setting up the rules inside the classroom. And the rules must be uh, put in writing and uh, posted in the classroom so that it will serve as the reminder every time they, uh, they, they violate the rules. Number 58. During the distribution of the report card, which of the following must be the foremost of a teacher? A. Discuss the complaints of other teachers and classmates. B. Discuss the progress as well as the deficiencies of the student. C. Discuss the unsettled deal of the student. Or D. Discuss the project of the school. Alright, so we're talking about, we're talking about car day. We're talking about the performance of the student in the school. The best answer is letter B. Discuss the progress as well as the deficiencies of the student. Why? Uh, kasi yung ibang teacher kasi they discuss also the unsettled deal. It's improper uh, unless it was uh, written in the agenda uh, of the meeting. Or <laughs> kasi pag card day teacher to teacher and parent. So no discussion or whatever except the grades and the deficiencies of the student. That's all. So the correct answer is letter B. Number uh, 60. If a teacher is an advocate of banking concept in education, he or she is a viewed student as what? Dormant account to be activated by the teacher. Wobble, wobble, I'm sorry, wobble account to be balanced of the teacher. 
or C, clear account to be filled up by the teacher, or D, all of the above. All right. So we're talking about banking concept in education. When you say banking concept, it's just like a tabula rasa by John Lap, where in the students, I uh, blank slate. And so, therefore, they are uh, zero account that will be filled out, okay, by the teacher, okay? And that they are the Google account to be balanced of the teacher, and they are the dormant account to be activated by the teacher. And so, therefore, the correct answer is letter D, all of the above. So, you have to remember banking concept of education. Si teacher yung nagpo-provide ng information, expect natin yung bata walang alam, dapat si teacher yung nagpo-provide. So that was a disciplinist and a formalist point of view by John Locke, yung concept ng tabula rasa, right? However, sa sistema ngayon, parang seldom you can see the what we call banking system in education. Why? Because there are some, uh, what you call this, there are some uh, uh, students, uh, yung style natin ngayon ay facilitating style. Students are interactive, students are giving in information that even sometimes the teacher don't know. So that is a very healthy uh, in uh, interchanging of ideas. The classroom because becomes the the, uh, the, ano, the marketplace of ideas. So hindi kagaya ng dati sa traditional style that the teacher should pick the, speak the whole day, should give information the whole day, and the the student should always follow and uh, listen the whole day. So. Uh, that's the reason why dati, dati takot na takot yung mga bata kay teacher. Bakit? Kasi si teacher may stick. Kasi si teacher nagsasalita. And every time the teacher uh, teaching the class, everyone should be, should be quiet. Iba na ngayon. The teacher, in fact, can only handle the class, can even handle the class without lecturing. Say, for example, pasok lang siya. Sabi niya, okay class, uh, I would like you to group into five. And uh, I will give you 20 minutes to discuss about the effect of drug addiction in the community. O parang ganun lang. Tapos, after 20 minutes, they have to report and they have to give and um, present their ideas. So, yun yung tinatawag nating technique of brainstorming or group presentation. So, medyo maganda na ngayon ang kapanahunan dahil si teacher hindi na talaga pagod na pagod. At sabi natin, teacher can do a multitasking job. Bakit multitasking job? Because the teacher can check attendance, can uh, do some works inside the classroom, can record the scores and score uh, and check papers. The students are doing their job uh, there in their uh, respective uh, chairs. Okay? Wala na tayong uh, uh, issue na si teacher ay pagod na pagod dahil nagsasalita the whole day. Number 61. Which of the following will best describe the purpose of holistic education? Uh, holistic, kabuuan, ha? holistic. Yung tinatawag natin critical, mga specific part, mga critical part. When you talk about holistic, it should be in, uh, the whole. Um, yung judgment natin, pag sinabi, holistic judgment, uh, ginjudge mo siya sa kabuuan. When you say critical judgment, ginjudge mo siya sa specific na mga anong, uh, katangian. Alright? So, here are the options. Letter A. To prepare the students to meet the challenges of schooling and society. B, to prepare the students to meet the challenges living and schooling. And C, to prepare the students to meet the challenges of living and society. Or D, all of the above. Okay, we're talking about holistic education, preparing the students. Check, letter A. To meet challenges, check, letter B. And letter C also, check. So the correct answer is all of the above. Pero huwag kayong masanay ha, na pag may all of the above sa choices, baka sagot mo, the, the, uh, agad is all of the above. So case to case basis, you have to read the entire choices before making an option. So one of my YouTube uh, lectures, maybe in the next uh, coming months or days, I will be talking about preparing for the actual board exam. So that is the most tedious moment in the, in the preparation. Bakit? Kasi dapat alam mo, anong gagawin ko sa board exam? Saan ako pupunta? Ano ba yung magiging uh, attitude ko? Diba? Ano ba magiging uh, sistema pagpasok ko? So we will teach you how to prepare. In all board exam, 40 board exams offered by the PRC, applicable lahat yan. So paano ako pa? Paano ako sa day one? Or bukas na yung exam ngayon, ano gagawin ko? So I will give you an idea on that. Just watch out on the YouTube uh, lectures soon. 
uh, gagawin natin yan. Uh, magbibigay tayo ng tips uh, before, during, and uh, after the board exam. Kasi yung yung after the board exam naman, yung magtatawag nating agony of waiting, yung naghihintay ka, parang takot na takot ka. What will you do? How you are going to manage your anxiety after taking the board exam and waiting for the result? Alright? Number 62. After finishing the degree in education, teacher Tess learns that learning never stops. In fact, she accumulates more knowledge after leaving the portal of her alma mater. This testifies what kind of philosophy? A. Humanism. B. Perennialism. C. Constructivism. D. Progressivism. Okay? So, anong tinatawag natin? Learning. So, these are what we call philosophy of, edu uh, of education. Yung iba dyan, nahirapan ng mga isam-isam na yan, ma'am. Napakahirap talaga to identify what this is isam all about, what this is isam. So, in my lecture, I want to teach you how to identify the philosophy of education in a very simplest form that you can remember during the actual board exam. So, here are the options. So, sabi nila, degree of education, learning never stops. Humanism, okay, humanism talk about uh, learner-centered to an individual who is developing his or her potential. Say for potentialities. Say for example, uh, magaling siyang mag-gitara. Mag so, magaling siya sa art. So, there are some uh, schools who cater that development of potentiality. And that one is called humanistic approach. Alright? So, what about letter B? The B is what we call perennialism. Ano bang tinatawag na philosophy of perennialism? Ah, uh, when you say perennial, uh, structural, uh, structural analysis, ha? kasi pag sinasabi ko sa actual board exam, nakalimutan ko yung perennialism, ano ba yun? So you go back to structural analysis. Ano bang tinatawag natin structural analysis? Get the root word of the word perennialism. So the, the, the root word is perennial. When you say per perennial, it's everlasting. It's forever living. It's not changing. Alright? So, perennialism is a subject-centered curriculum that focuses in the subject matter. And of course, this philosopher, uh, this, uh, this um, uh, philosopher, most of the philosopher perennials believe that education is constant or not changing. Alright? So therefore, uh, perennialism is a subject centered. So it refers to mga ano siya, mga education, uh, mga higher learning, history, grammar, science, math, and on. What about constructivism? The philosophy of constructivism gawin natin, apply pa rin natin yung tinatawag na structural analysis from the word construct or create. So anong philosophy na to? Kung ang teacher mo, yung philosophy niya ay constructivist, tuturuan niya yung mga estudyante na gumawa ng mga bagay na base sa kanilang pag-intindi, imahinasyon, or eksperyensya. So the, uh, that's what we call constructivism. They, they allow the children to create, to make, to construct. Alright? So say for example, paano natin ma, halimbawa, yung project method, na hindi ikaw ang nagawa, teacher, kundi gawa ng estudyante uh, galing sa kanyang sipag at pag-intindi or pag-unawa. That is a constructivist point of view. Sa mga farm na nakikita natin, wala silang mabiling laruan. But uh, uh, amazingly, yung mga kabataan doon sa sa mga sa mga uh, bukid o sa mga farm, mga kabaranggayan, they create their own toys. So, if you allow that, parang constructivist na point of view yun. So, si teachers sa klase, they allow that the children should explore and create their ideas. That is constructivist point of view. Higher learning to. So, sa teacher, hindi nagdi-dictate what will be the correct answer. Sabi niya, oh, ito yung kandila. Uh, in, all, in all point of view, what is the role of the candle in your life? So, student will make different point of view about candles. And you know what? Sa kandila na yon, 40 ang sudyante mo, 40 din. Iba't ibang sagot. Because they construct their own meaning about the candles. 
So sa constructivist na point of view yung challenge ni teacher, paano ko ba i-check ang papel kasi hindi hindi pareho to yung mga sagot nila. They have the, their own point of view, of view about something. All right? That is constructivist na point of view. At ito yung dapat yung pinopropagate ng ating mga pilosofiya that the student should always create, should always invent, should always construct something about their imagination. And uh, of course, madami tayong ganyan kasi pag mga estudyante din or mga professional, hindi na sanay sa constructivist. Eh ano nang gagawa, ano nangyayari sa kanila? They just copy something from the internet. Pero, pag ikay na sanay sa constructivist na point, point of view, you want to create your own your own creation, your own understanding, your own modules, your own term paper, your own research paper. The last one is the progressivist point of view. Progressivism. Okay? Progressivism also believe that learning never stops. Huh? Uh, when you talk about progressivist, the concept is experiencing. All right? So, to experience something. Halimbawa, laboratory of learning. Uy, mas na natutunan ko pala pag, pag alis ko sa school, mas marami ako natutuhan kasi the actual teaching teaching place is the actual laboratory of life. And therefore, the correct concept there is what we call progressivism. Progressivism, education also never stop. It continues throughout life. And you have now experienced the reality of life. At ito yung tiyatawag na, once you experience, you learn. Alright? Number 63. A document published by the school's district that identifies rules of behavior that must be followed by anyone using the school district computers, network, or internet connection. What is that? Acceptable use policy, fair use, ethical internet use policy or the classroom rules, alright? So, ang tanong natin dito, uh, identify rules of behavior that must be. The correct answer here is letter C, ethical internet use policy. Alam nyo kahit internet yan, meron yung uh, tinatawag nating citizenship. Uh, may, uh, may basic rule na hindi na dapat kailangan hanapan mo ng written rules, ay yung mga basic to be responsible in writing, in whatever you wrote, uh, you are writing rather, or posting on Facebook. So this coming Wednesday, I have this lecture on cyberbullying, and I am so excited to discuss all about bullying. Why? Because this is my advocacy. Kasi ang dami-dami natin, hindi natin alam, teacher tayo, tayo pa pala yung bully. Parents tayo, tayo pa rin pala yung bully. So, hindi natin na-realize that. And in fact, the increased number of suicide cases, the increased number of, um, of juvenile delinquent uh, children or the juvenile delinquency is a manifestation of bullying or cyberbullying. So how could we protect our children? How could we protect our family against this uh, cyberbullying or bullying in that matter? Uh, we'll talk about that this coming Thursday uh, in one of my, uh, my lectures, all right? Number 64. Technology is not a panacea. What does the statement mean? What do you mean with the word panacea? So, uh, you have to remember, when you say panacea, it means a remedy, all right? So, A, technology will not be always a remedy in the learning process of the students. B, technology is not an important factor in teaching and learning process. Uh, C, technology is answer to all the problems of the teacher. Or D, technology is not a cure-all tool for the teacher. So, the best answer there, the correct answer is letter A. Technology is not a remedy in learning process of the student. It could always supplement, it always uh, uh, support, supplement the learning process. All right? Uh, it's always good when the teacher is good and the technology is good. There will be the best result for the learning process. But it should not be that a teacher will be absent and the technology will be taking over. All right? Kahit naman ganito tayo ngayon, no, technological-based tayo kasi naka-online learning tayo, but uh, technology should be still assisted by the teacher. Right? Iba pa rin yung may, may guro dyan. So, mamang nimuod na lang ako sa may ano, sa internet. Yung madami kasi sa YouTube naman na review materials. But the right thing is that w there is a lot of review materials but there's no explanation. It's useless. You just 
looking at the dictionary but you don't know how to use the words all right so you have to be familiar uh, you have to get involved with this kind of rationalization that we discuss the answer so that you have an idea how to uh, relate with the concept number 65 Teacher Leone wants her students to express their opinions regarding a certain government issue. Which of the following can he, she use to do this? A. Email. Uh, B. Blog. C. Forum. Uh, or D. Group messaging system. We're talking about opinion. So, uh, which of the following can she use to do this? Okay. Uh, forum is the best answer. All right. When you say forum... Uh, this is different from symposium. Symposium and forum are both formal gathering, but the difference is that symposium has only one speaker to talk about the topic, while forum has a lot of point of view to talk about the same topic. All right, and there will be inter uh, uh, the uh, the stu uh, the audience rather in a forum or even a symposium is allowed to ask some questions for clarification, rebuttal. Or disagreement but it's all right because that's the idea of the forum uh, in some cases but once you are a teacher are you being commented by your student or being asked clarification by the student which is against uh, your opinion uh, I guess you have to observe uh, tolerance and do not uh, take it against you personally because you know when we discuss inside the classroom it's the purpose is not to malign each other the purpose is not to put uh, put down each other, but to learn from the different point of view of ideas. All right, maybe that's one thing that I got from UP that uh, you know you allowed to speak, even you are opposing to the point of view of the teacher. It's all right because anyway, uh, individually different. We are all different. We are given different kind of uh, perspective ideas. It's really how we look at it. It doesn't mean that you are correct, but it doesn't mean that I am wrong. Uh, I, what I mean is, uh, you 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 mean you are correct, but it doesn't mean I'm wrong. Maybe you're just looking at it in a different perspective, different point of view. There are some people who have a, have a common misunderstanding. Uh, it's not because they don't they hate each other. That's why they 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 have quarrel. But they have different point of view coming from different perspective. All right, number sixty-six. In a basic education curriculum, somebody, somebody smiling in front of me. In two, 20, 2001, Makabayan was envisioned to be A, the history of life, the combined subject, or C, the tool for the 21st century, or D, the laboratory of life. The correct answer is letter D. Curriculum in 2001 is being created purposely for laboratory of life. Letter D. 67. Dr. Jason, the provincial hospital director, Plans to attend a school board meeting where a new high school science curriculum will be discussed. Which level of curriculum is shown in this situation? A. Societal. B. Experimental. C. Instructional. Or D. Institutional. The correct answer there is school board meeting. It's uh, what we call institutional. Letter D. Delta. 68. When instruction, the curriculum focuses on the mastery of content and the evaluation that follows measures only the knowledge learned, such as curriculum design is teacher-centered design, learner-centered design, subject-centered design, or problem-centered design. Okay, mastery of the content is more on subject-centered design, letter B. Okay, you have to be very careful in the curriculum class. There are only three things. What are the three design in the curriculum? We have the subject-centered, we have the learner-centered, and the problem-centered. Uh, it's very easy to identify uh, the three. Okay? Pag sinasabi natin subject-centered design focuses on the mastery of the subject, the content, and the curriculum process. process right? Process. What about learner-centered? It talks about the learner. It talks about the... The learner centered, of course, the, 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 the student as the center, the hem of the learning process. Your problem centered naman, yung mga uh, situational centered, say, or the, pro, uh, the problem centered focuses more on the set situation around the learner. Say, for example, 
uh, society's issues. That is problem center. All right? So you can identify that uh, immediately when you see one. Number 69. Which important elements must the phases of curriculum development consider according to Ralph Tyler? Is it the learner, the environmental, the society, or the subject matter? The correct answer is letter A, 2, and 4. Uh, 1, 2, 3, uh, 4. 2, 3, and 4. Is it the learner? Check. The learner. Very important. The environmental, the society, or the subject matter. The correct answer is 1, 2, and 4. So the correct answer is letter A. It's the learner, the society, and the subject matter. Okay? Number 69. 60, 70. When certain topics are presented in elementary in manner appropriate grade schoolers are the same topic is tackled in the high school but on such deeper level, this is referred to as symbolic learning, discovery learning, classified curriculum, or spiral curriculum. The correct is spiral curriculum. Uh, when you talk about spiraling of curriculum, uh, the curriculum from the grade one is uh, the easier. When you teach, uh, for example, addition, you just add one digit. Pag, pag grade two, you could teach two digits to three digits with the in subtraction and with remainder. In elementary, you talk about multiplication uh, in ter, uh, grade three, multiplication and division and so on. So that is spiraling of curriculum. The basic must be taught first before the next or the deeper level. All right? The correct answer is letter D. 71. The criterion of success of teachers in this lesson is that the student must be able to get 85% of the test items correctly. Who one and 29 others in a class answered only 33 out of 40 items correctly. This means that a, attain his lesson objective, did not attain his lesson objective because his student lack of attention, or C, did not attain his lesson objective as far as 30 students are concerned, or D, attain his lesson objective because of his effective problem-solving drill. So the, the criterion of success is 85% or uh, 30 students. So the correct answer is, did not attain his lesson objective. All right? Letter C. Number 71. Teacher may give a test at the end of the lesson. Find out if the objectives of her lesson have best attained. This can be classified as criterion reference. D. Norm reference test. Curricular assessment. Placement assessment. The correct answer here. Uh, uh, the correct answer here is letter A. Criterion reference. So the very criteria of the test is the objectives. On the other hand, when you talk about norm reference tests, we're talking about the test that uh, norm reference is the performance of the student uh, in a group of learners. Say, for example, national achievement test is a norm reference test because it checks how I perform uh, with other students from different school. How my school perform uh, among other schools in Iloilo. It's norm reference. You normally, it's a uh, standardized test is uh, criterion, such as uh, you are board exam is a criterion test because there are criteria of passing 20% of gen ed, 40% of group ed, and 40% of majoring. So criteria, criterion reference. So how I perform nationally, that's norm reference. So there, there was once a clamor what the test or how the test is is being uh, rated, is it based on criterion or norm reference? Well, it doesn't matter as long as you're really prepared for the test, you will really pass. Number 73. A teacher constructed a matching type test item. In her column of description are combination of precedents, current issues, and sports. Which rule of constructing a matching type test item was not followed? A. Arrange the options according to order. B. Description must be homogeneous. C. Option must be greater than the description. Or D. Description must be heterogeneous. If you are sometime creating a matching type of exam, one thing that you must observe is that 
each column must be homogeneous. Alright? What do you mean say homogeneous? If you talk about polygon, it must be all about polygon. If you talk about president, it must be all about president. Alright? But in this case, the matching type of test is constructed as uh, uh, co uh, with a combination of president, current events, and sports. So therefore, was not followed here is the description must be homogeneous. Bakit? Hetero kasi yung binigay niya. Alright? So, dapat homogeneous siya. Number 74. Mike's row score in mathematics class is 94, which is equal to 97th percentile. What does this mean? A, 97 of Mike's classmates got a score higher than 94. B, 97 of Mike's classmates got a score lower than 94. Or C, Mike's score is less than 97 of his classmates. Or D, Mike's higher than 97 percent of his classmates. So what's your answer? Ibig sabihin natin, if the row score of Mike is 94, which is equal to the 97th percentile, ibig sabihin, 97 percent of my classmates got a score lower than 94. The correct answer is letter B. Number 75, a portfolio assessment requires a presentation of a collection of students' work. What is the purpose of said activity? A, or one, this is Tata, to showcase the current abilities and skill or skills of the learner. Check, that's pasok yan. Number two, to show growth and development of the lear learners. Pasok din siya. Number three, to evaluate the cumulative achievement of the learners. Pasok din po. So the correct answer there is one, two, and three. Letter A. 76. Teacher Louise found out that more from the lower group got the item number 16 correctly. In his item analysis, this means that the item test has number one, low validity, B, high validity, C, negative discriminating power, or D, positive discriminating power. So in our assessment of learning, guys, you are supposed to identify the negative or the positive discriminating power. What will be your basis? The basis is that if from more, more rather from the lower group got the item, again, correctly, more from the lower group got the item correctly, that is negative discriminating power. What about pag more from the upper group? Ibig sabihin, positive discriminating power. Yun na kasimple. So, if you have identified na more from the lower group, got the item right. So, therefore, negative. More from the upper group, got the item right. So, therefore, passive. Alright? So, yung validity naman niya kasi, it talks about the content. So, it doesn't talk about the uh, item, anal item analysis. I'm sorry. Number 77. The analysis of variance utilizing the F test is the appropriate significance test to run between. Alright, so this one, when you talk about, this is more on a higher learning. But I would like to tell this is all about the uh, F-test, it's all about the uh, ANOVA in statistics. So therefore, it has two means only. Alright? So the correct answer is letter C. Uh, normally, hindi naman lumalabas to sa board exam, ano? But you have to be familiar lang. But if test, there are only two means. And uh, this is uh, referring normally the ANOVA. And uh, it is a form, uh, what we call it, statistic format. Could be applicable in a higher mathematics. Number 78. This view of education promotes that education started from primitive people, particularly those of the tribe. Is that creationist, evolutionist, progressivist, culturalist, all right? Promotes education from primitive people. Okay, so that one is evolutionist. Okay, from the lower orders up to the present one. All right, so this is managed to what we call inculturation. So what do you mean when we say inculturation? That is learning our own culture. It is being passed from generation to generation. Bakit ba tayo naniniwala sa aswang, sa mga kapre, sa mga white lady? Kasi pinapasapasa yan. All right? So, uh, that is part of the culture of the Filipino 
the belief of superstitious, the belief of a quack doctor, the belief of fatalism. Alam niyo yung fatalism? Believing in destiny. Ayaw na mag-work ng iba kasi destiny talaga siya gano'n. So it's wrong. But you know, ang daming pa rin naniniwala. Bakit? Because they believe that educate, uh, that, uh, uh, that it was good. Because for us Filipino, what is what is uh, old and customary seems right and the best. That's the reason why nahirapan tayo magbago. Kasi nakahold on tayo sa culture natin, sa past natin, ano? Um, but it doesn't mean that we have to forget our culture. We have to learn our culture. We have to know our culture. But it doesn't mean that we have to stagnate with our culture. Bakit? Kasi hindi tayo uunlad. Pag doon na lang tayo. It was past. It was obsolete. It was not applicable up, the, up to the moment. So, going forward, but never forget what we had uh, in our past. Because that's part and the foundation of what we are now. Alright? 79. This is a phenomenon in psychology where the student perform better than other students simply because they were expected to do so. Is that with itness? Is that Hawthorne effect? Is that Henry, uh, John Henry effect? Or Zental or Pygmalion effect? Alright. Uh, there is a, a, a debate on here. Why? Kasi medyo ano bang tamang sagot dito? Hawthorne or Rosenthal or Pygmalion? Alright. I'll discuss it one by one. With itness. With itness is a classroom strategy wherein the teacher must have an eye at her back. So hindi ito ang tamang sagot. Why? Kasi pag sinasabing with itness, sinasabi dito na this is a concept ni, ni Crathwell na a teacher or a teacher uh, must have an eye at her back. Okay? So, with it, Nesha. She knows or she or he knows what's happening uh, in the classroom. Okay? With it, Nesha. He prepares the classroom that he could benefit the activity of the entire student. With it, Nesha. Ano naman tiyatawag natin yung Hawthorne effect? Yung Hawthorne effect is otherwise known as Observer's effect. Anong ibig sabihin? Pag may nag-o-observe sa'yo, your tendency is to perform better. Your tendency is to give your best. Kasi there is an expectation coming from your observers. That is Hawthorne effect. Alright? Yung John Henry, parang hindi ako familiar dyan, pero hindi yan tamang sagot. So what about letter D? Rosenthal or Pygmalion effect? Ito naman yung Rosenthal at saka Pygmalion effect. This is referring to self-fulfilling prophecy. So, iba ha, pag sinasabi natin self-fulfilling prophecy, nag-successful ako kasi iniisip ako, magiging successful ako. Yun yung tinatawag na Pygmalion effect. Yung Hawthorne naman kasi is coming from the observer. So, yung itong tanong natin, talking about this one, is a psychology wherein the student perform better simply because they were expected to do so it is more on the observer's effect. So, therefore, the correct answer is Hawthorne effect. Alright? So, hindi siya Rosenthal. So, atandaan natin yung Rosenthal sa Kapigmal yun, self-fulfilling prophecy. Mag-iisip ako, madadapa ako, madadapa ako, madadapa ka. May isip ka, oy, i-break kong jowa ko, i-break kong jowa ko. Pag ganun yung palagi iniisip mo, pag may break kayo, that's Pigmal yun effect. Because unconsciously, your body, your emotion is working towards that kind. The choice yung sabi nila sa law of attraction niya. You want to pass the board exam? Then believe that you can make it. Yung nga naririnig yung mga ibang tao sabi, Uy, talaga totoo yan. Claim it. Bakit? It's a pigmalion effect. What you think will happen. Alright? So, believer din kasi ako ng ano, ng tawag na, ng law of attraction. Uh, you attract bad vibes, you attract good vibes. Alright? You attract energy. Good energy and bad energy. Because I always believe that there is negative or positive energy. So, yung tinatawag natin naman na, na mga effect na yan, it's all about your body that signals you. Kasi sabi, sa psychology naman, or sa, sa law of attraction, sabi nila na everything that you want will happen to you. Uh, everything that you really like to be, and you, every time that you desire, will come to you on time. Kaya lang, bakit delay? Sinabi ko naman sa universe na, I want to become a doctor. Bakit delay? Bakit ang daming problema? Uh, because 
of the energy. Yung mga negative na energy na nagmamanipulate to become a barrier. So, yung problema natin, kung yung problema natin mismo ay yung sarili natin. Yung ayaw nating mag-grow or mag, mag, ano, mag-change. Uh, kasi, may takot ka, may galit ka, may sama ka ng loob. So, if we cannot let go of, the, uh, of this all, uh, yung ano, yung uh, hindi papasok yung tinatawag na attraction mo. Ang dami mong desire pero hindi nangyayari kasi hindi siya pumapasok kasi uh, puno ng sama ng loob yung sarili mo. So, yun doon ko nakita kasi sinasabi ko, nababasa ko, ay upla, no? So, that's the reason why always humble yourself. Always, pag, uh, totoo yan, all of the people are always getting mad or getting angry from time to time. You have to remember that the emotion is just temporary. And uh, when you get along with that, you have to get back and, you know, uh, say sorry if you must because that's normal thing to do. And uh, mag, ma- mawala yun pag nag-lower ka ng, ng, ano mo, ng uh, ego. Alright? So, it's 80. So, remember that one. Yung sinasabi kong papasa ka, mangyayari yan. Just, pre- uh, just always consider the Pygmalion effect. Who among the following advocated the face to uh, that we face a specific psychosocial dilemma of at each stage of life? Is that Sigmund Freud, James Coleman? Is it Lawrence Goldberg? It's Eric Erickson. The correct answer is Eric Erickson, where there are eight crises in the stages of life. So sa buong buhay natin, may walong crisis tayo na magigit ma face, and that crisis is started from trust versus mistrust ended with integrity versus de- despair. Talagang fan ako ng Eric Erickson concept na to. Where did you get your trust? You can get it from your maternal relationship. So, syempre, yung bata at 0 to 2 years old, dapat hindi siya iiwan ng kanyang nanay. Kasi doon kumukuha yung anak niya ng tinatawag na trust. Okay? So, tinatawag na maternal relationship. Pag hindi na-develop ang trust, what will be developed? So, there must be a development or maladjustment to happen. Uh, it could either be yung bata, lumaki siyang over-trusting, kaya nga niloloko ng mga lalaki. Over-trusting kasi siya. Or mga lalaki din naman, niloloko din ng ibang babae because of the over-trusting. Saan ang galing yan? Kasi pinaasa siya ng parents na life is perfect, life is like this, life is... Ito. Parang lahat na na tao sa kanya ay mabait. Okay? Next one. Autonomy versus shame and doubt. Two to four years old. Ang bata, sabi ni Eric Erickson, Ano sabi niya, at 2 to 4 years old, dapat turuan ng bata magiging independent. Bakit? Kasi pag hindi na turuan niya magiging independent, magmamal adjustment yan or could develop a what we call shame and doubt. Ano ba yung tinatawag natin na shame and doubt? He is doubting or she is doubting about herself kung kaya ya or hindi. Saan ang galing yan? brought about by the growth and development when the parents' paternal relationship, ha? relasyon ng tatay sa kanyang mga anak. So, dapat yung tatay nagpapakita talaga, kaya mo yan, anak, kaya mo yan. Kasi pag hindi, parang magda-doubt sila, hindi, kaya ko ba? Ganon. So, normally, may nanay naman na nag uh, re enforce But normally, it can be taken from paternal relationship, yung tinatawag nating autonomy. Alright? So, anong maladjustment dito? Pag yung bata, hindi naka-develop ng autonomy and always doubting about herself or himself, pwede din lumaki siyang walang hiya or shameless. Alright? So, talaga pinang, ipinanganak talaga yung mga walang hiya, no? But I tell you people, uh, it could be corrected. Why? The concept of uh, Eric Erickson is just a theory. Bakit? Decisive pa rin yung tao, yung individual. Halimbawa, gusto ko magbago. May mga maladjustment issues ako may mga problema ako sa growth and development ko. Gusto kong baguhin yon Ayaw ko ng ganyan. Kasi na-identify ko na mali yan. So, you can correct always. Kasi one of my classes, may nagtanong talaga, Ma'am, what about yung talaga totoo naman yun yung, uh, yung uh, oral fixation? Ma'am, o totoo naman yun. Halimbawa, ako, I'm orally fixated. I love eating. So, si, si, concept yun ni Sigmund Freud na yung uh, oral fixation. So, pag na-identify mo, pwede mo naman i-correct. Bakit? Kasi mas decisive yung individual. Mas matalino ka na, kaya mas marunong ka na. So, bakit ba ako magpapadwell on this kind of concept na orally fixated ako na pwede ko naman pala itama? Alright? Yun yung konsepto ng mga 
theory natin. So, huwag magiging alay, alitin sa mga teoryang yan. Kasi, again, the decisive person is still the individual. Alright? Number 81. How can parents foster initiative and independence in children? Ay, uh, paano ba yung initiative? Development of initiative and independence. A. Restricting child's freedom to play, to use imagination, and to choose activities. B. Encouragement from parents when the child plans and carries out a task. C. Identity versus role confusion. Or D. Mastering the psychomotor skills. The correct answer is letter B. Encouragement from parents when the child plans and carries out a task. So yung kung kaya niya, di ba wa, sabi ko kanina, uh, a previous item, sinabi ko sa inyo, 2 to 4 years old, crucial ang independence uh, or development of independence. Kasi, yung task ng bata dyan is autonomy versus shame and doubt. Pwede siyang magiging independent or pwede siyang mag-doubt ng self niya later on. Alright? So, nanggaling yan sa paternal relationship sa loob pa rin ng bahay. If you have observed in your household or kung may mga nieces or nephews ka, aging 2 to 4 years old, this is the crucial age. Bakit? 2 to 4 years old is toddler. And this is basically very assertive. Why very assertive? Because they want to do what they want. Bakit? Because that is what they know. I want to become an independent. Kaya nga yung 2 to 4 years old ko, yung kambal ko, at the age of 2 to 4 years old, they really insist, ako lang, ako lang. Bakit? They want to do it by themselves. Bakit? They are asserting that for independence. Alright? So if you are, if it's okay, you allow them. Yung pagkain ng kanin, ng food, when they are 2 to 4 years old, yung mga parents na iba, ayaw nilang mag-independent na kumain yung bata kasi madumi, kasi nag-kalat yung bata ng mga rice, saka yung mga kung ano-ano pa dyan. But it's alright. When you are playing, it's alright to be dirty as long as you learn. Parang nido yun na commercial. What I'm saying is that when they want to play, nadapa sila, and you know that they can stand by themselves, just encourage them to stand up. You, nadapa sa, oh, yung iba kasi ng mga parents, oh, kawawa naman ang anak, oh, nasusokto na mo, mo, mo. Eh, they're your creating a child, which is, I do not know. Kasi, at the end of the day, when the child is grow up, tapos nagka-problema sila sa, nagka-problema sila sa school, or may problema, naging delinquente sila, uh, they become antisocial. Yung sabi mo, sa anak ko nagkulang? Yung normally na question ng parents, sa anak ko nagkulang? Yung sagot doon, uh, nanay, tatay, hindi ka nagkulang. Nagsubra ka. Nagsubra sa alin? Sa pagmamahal na hindi tama. Why? In the Philippine, Philippine setting, yung kalabang pag, uh, yung normally na pag-ibig ng mga parents sa kanilang mga anak, napaka-consinte. Ano ba tawag doon? Uh, pampering. Uh, ba So, pampering. You, they consider the children to be like an egg inside the the shell na hindi dapat masira yung shell which is not true so when i talk about my children my kids they've been complaining about the real thing that's happening around them but yung totoo pala uh, a, a, a priest uh, friend of mine told me na mas maigi na yung mga anak ay exposed sa mga reality sa surroundings niya bakit kasi that is growing up bakit Kasi hindi mo dapat i-orient pala yung anak ng tinatawag na perfect world. Kasi hindi na uso ngayon yung tinatawag nating ano ba tawag sa mga mga ano yan, mga mga may prince charming, mga ano tawag doon? Mga fairy tales, tama ba? Yung dati kasi yung mga bata, pina pinasanay na they have to believe in fairy tales, they have to believe in a prince charming, sleeping beauty that the, somebody will just kiss them and they will be uh, uh Ano ba yun? They will be taken away from the monster. Parang ganun. So, iwasan natin yun. The child must be exposed to reality so that when they are there in the real world, hindi na sila masasaktan kasi sanay sila. Hindi naman natin gawing stoic yung anak natin. But to be able for he, them to survive life. Pag sinabi na, ang sakit-sakit. Yung ibang kasi, ang sakit-sakit. Hindi ko talaga kaya to. Sabi ng isang bata na sanay sa sakit, kaya ko yan eh. Yung dyan lang pala yun eh. Ako, madami ako napagdaanan. So, who will be stronger then? Those children who are exposed to reality. And that's more, that's more important. 
So here, the correct answer is letter B. Yung identity versus raw confusion, high school naman yan. Yung that involves the sexuality mo, yung may mga identity crisis, dun yan. Okay, remember, from 12 to 18 years old, you must identify yourself. Ano bang role ko sa society? Uh, kasi otherwise, magka problema ka doon. Yung sinasabi na, bakit bang problema-problema niya? Yung mga, mga tao may mga issue pa sa mga sarili nila. Halimbawa, ako din may issue din naman ako eh. Uh, all of us has. Because you know, ako, I have to explain, nag-grow up ako sa parents ko na, uh, ano bang hindi po? Yung young, youngest. So, medyo pamper din. So, hindi kami mayaman, but still, uh, yung lahat ng gusto mo, nakukuha mo. So, that is a problem of the parents when they give the child what they want. Alright? So, yun yung problema. So, sa identity versus role confusion, this is now the development of fidelity. Dito mo makikita ko ang tao, loyal or hindi loyal. O kaway-kaway dyan sa mga hindi loyal. Bakit? Identity versus role confusion, my understanding about this uh, after studying a lot of uh, readings is that yung Yung ano pala, yung maraming babae, yung papalit-palit ng babae, papalit-palit ng lalaki, sometimes can be attributed to identity crisis. Bakit? Hindi niya kasi mahanap yung gusto niya. Bakit? May hinahanap siyang iba. Alright? That is identity crisis. So, yung concept ko, this is, I, I, I do not know, I haven't read any article about it, but in my own conclusion after reading all these materials is that you can never be loyal you cannot attain the what we call fidelity when you are suffering from identity crisis. You can never be loyal. Yung mga, may mga issue dyan sa sexualidad nila, you can never be loyal if you have identity crisis. Alright? Mag-asawa ka, pero you can never be loyal. Your, height, your, your, your mind may be thinking about someone. Identity crisis. Alright? May kaibigan din ako nag-share, sabi niya, after having a lot of boyfriends in past life, in my life, brother, parang, ayaw ko na ng lalaki, gusto ko na babae. Natatawa ako dun. Alright? Number 82. When a child manifests mutism, self-destructive behavior, ikulalya, and child may be showing symptoms of what? Okay? Mute, mutism. Self-destructive behavior. Ikulalya. Ano bang tinatawag natin ikulalya? Yung inuulit yung sinasabi mo, Sabi mo, nanay, gatas ako. Inuulit niya, gatas ako. Ganon. Nanay, tulog ako, tulog ako. Ganon. Ikulalya yun. Repeating. Repeating words or any statement that they hear. Okay? That's anorexia nervosa, B, dyslexia, childhood autism, ADHD. So, isa-isa eh. Yung anorexia nervosa is an eating disorder. Yung tinitingnan mong sarili mong tabang-taba ka, pero payat na payat ka. Yung katawan mo, payat na payat, pero you thought uh, mataba pa rin. So that's why you stop eating. That is anorexia nervosa. So that one is eating disorder. Let her be dyslexia. This is mirror reading. Ano tong dys dyslexia? Kung able, may problema sa pagbabasa, pagsusulat, mathematics, so dyslexic din. Or they look like yung sinusulat sa board. If you're familiar with Ishan, sa the child is special, yung pagsulat sa board, Sa tingin niya, is just like a spaghetti junction that is moving. Yung mga dyslexic child ganun, distorted yung pananaw nila. And they read B as C, yung baliktad, mga baliktaran, yun, dyslexic yun. Alright? Hindi sila bobo. They have only what we call learning disability. And they have a special needs. So pag sinasabi natin, special child, hindi ibig sabihin abnormal yan. Ibig sabihin, they are special children who need special uh, special attention or special needs. Childhood autism. Okay, ito yung tamang sagot. Y yung manifestation ng mutism, self-destructive behavior, ikulalya, that one is childhood autism. However, yung childhood, childhood autism is a very wide spectrum. So, ang dami ng spectrum disorder. May Asperger syndrome. May, may mild May severe, parang ganun. Ang ADHD, Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, whether there is hyperactivity or attention deficit, okay? Uh, still considered as ADHD. So yung ADHD naman, madali naman kasing i-manage to. Okay? Allow lang uh, giving too much sugar to the children, yung ADHD. Next one. Leonis encouraged her parents to ask questions 
and allow her to choose activities she will find enjoyable and worthwhile. If this is will continue, Erickson believes that Leonie will achieve what? Identity? Initiative. Industry. Generativity. The correct answer is? The correct answer is industry. Letter C. We're talking about activities that will find enjoyable and worthwhile. Okay? That one is letter C. Development of industry. 84. What is the best thing to do when somebody you know is dying? What is the best thing to do when somebody you know is dying? A. Keep your visit short and infrequent in order to avoid tiring the person. Puede. Or B. Avoid disturbing that the person by not mentioning death. Really? Or C. Allow the person to talk about death with you. Or D. Tell the person about the stages of dying. The best answer here is letter C. I don't know, some, of, some might agree, some may not, but when there are persons who are near and dying, you allow the person to talk about death with you. Okay, bakit? Kasi it's one way of telling that death is something that is inevitable. And death must be considered as part of life. And death is, uh, parang kasi pag malapit ng death, lahat naman ng tao accepted niya na yan. Wala naman siyang choice, di ba? Ah, uh, yun lang. Hindi naman, bakit ba? Natatakot kasi yung iba, yung Pilipino na kultura, huwag mong sarili, hey, don't talk about that. Oh, more, do, don't talk about that. It's morbid. No, you have to realize that death is inevitable and it is real. Totoo yan, nangyayari yan, and you don't know when will that be. So, pag buhay ka, sabi nila, you have to do the best thing for your life, or the best thing for your loved ones, because hindi mo alam hanggang kailan ka lang. Yun yung, yung sinasabi ng mga, yung nanay ko, yung dapat, that every day must be a, a best day for you, every day must be a performance day, every day must be something that you do good to your loved ones. Yun yun. Kasi sayang yung moment. Yung sinasabi niya, ay namatay siya, inaway ko pa kanina, umaga yun, parang 85. Students were required to stay and live with a family of ITAS in Sambales for a week. They will, de uh, they will do this to study the lifestyle of ethnic group and come up with a report about a particular group the teacher will most probably rely on what technique? A. Practicum technique. B. Laboratory technique. Apprenticeship technique. Field study technique. All of those are called letter D. Field study technique. So, when you field study, you go to the actual, uh, actual thing. Okay? 86. The teacher Edgar, teacher Edgar invited several experts to shed light on the topic of environmental protection. Te te protection, I'm sorry. Teacher Edgar is using the technique known as interview symposium, panel discussion, socialize uh, classroom. Okay? The correct answer is symposium. Letter B. 87. To improve comprehension and retention among students, the teacher best option would be to use contextual clues. SQ2R, audio didactic activities, or six thinking hats. Retention, it's more on SQ2R. What is SQ2R? Sur uh, survey, questioning, write, review. Alright? That is uh, SQ2R. Meron yung SQ3R. May recall. Alright? Yun. 88. Edward de Bono is famous for his instructional innovation, understanding by design, graphic organizer, seven habits of highly effective people, six thinking hats. Okay, the correct answer for Edward de Bono is he is so famous in six Thinking hats. Letter D. The understanding by design is talked by Dick, uh, Dick and Wiggins. All right. Graphic organizer is concept of uh, David Osabel's uh, meaningful learning. So the best or the correct answer is letter D. Eighty nine. After listening to the homily of the priest about fidelity, Kathy has a moment of reflection. Her understanding of the value of fidelity has become deeper 
as she related his to her past experiences. This testifies what kind of philosophy, humanism, constructivism, existentialism, reconstructivism. Okay, we're talking about the value. Her value of fidelity has become deeper as they related to the past experiences. So, ano yung bang philosophy yun? Uh, humanist, constructivist, existentialist, reconstructionist. So, if your value now become deeper, it is more on existentialism. Alright, let's talk about uh, existentialism. So, existentialist naman na point of view, parang nagbago yung mga choices mo sa life, nagbago yung mga uh, yung alternatives mo or options. That is existentialist point of view. So, yung tao kasi, when they value, when they had already experienced hurtful uh, scenarios such as fidelity, ano, yung, yung tinatawag nating fidelity is faithfulness, okay? Or unfaithfulness of that. So, right after that, talagang may nagbago. In every bad things that happen, there is always a something that is new and the learning, learning experience. Uh, kahit ang pangit nang nangyari, mayroong learning experience yun. Uh, kahit failure, mga failure relationship, failure education, failure in education, failure in uh, in uh, in your life, may may learning yun. Okay? So, may mga learning tayo. Na akala natin, it was bad at all, yung, yung pandemic today, is having also learning experience to us we we'll learn to become innovative, we we'll learn to become survivor, and we we'll learn to become uh, ano ba yun? Uh, flexible. That one. So I guess we have to realize na ang dami yung blessing na ibinigay yung pandemic na to. So pag nag-focus tayo kasi sa problema, pandemic, ganito, ganito, talagang mawawala tayo. Ako, ang dami ko rin problema. If I'll be going to give myself, my all of myself, kaya hindi na ako makatulog sa gabi and all, there is now uh, what we call anxiety attack. Magkaka problema ka talaga. So you must learn how to develop that moment of yours. Ako nagbibidyo, okay. Ako nagkakanta-kanta. Ako ano ba yung laro ko? Ano mo tawag doon? Ano mo laro ko doon? Yung ano, yung tongit sa online. Masaya na ako. Why? Because that's one way of uh, coping. What is coping? Yung coping mechanism mo, diverting your attention to certain issues of your life. Okay? So, the more you cope. But coping must be temporary, guys, ha? Ah, baka puro lang kayo coping dyan. Cope ng cope. Smoking is coping. Drinking liquor is coping. Wandering, yung pagtakbo-takbo mo from one friend to another, that's coping. Yung, yung iyak-iyak and you keep your, your door shut down to everyone, that's coping. But coping must be temporary. Why? Any coping mechanism that is prolonged will become a problem. Smoking, pag may problema, dami-dami mong smoke that's addiction. Smoking, uh, you know, drinking liquor, that's alcoholism. Pag prolong na, pag prolong na. Yung iba kumakain, kain, kain pa more, that's my coping. But the end of that is is uh, obesity. Wandering, uh, baka baliw. Crying, sleeping, that's depression. Nag, Nag-isolate ka na, yaw mo nang makita lahat ng tao, that's depression. So, again, it should be temporary. So, paano magiging temporary? Dapat, ma- pag hindi, pag walang intervention na ibang tao, ay, ano yan, yung ginagawa mo dyan, wait, come on, tama na yan, ganun. Uh, it could uh, go into a very problematic scenario. So, that's the reason why, dapat aware ka din, oh, hanggang dito lang ako. Umiyak ako kasi may nag-break ka ng jowa mo dyan, oh, hanggang dito lang ako. Mag-iiyak ako ng three weeks. Tapos ng three weeks, Lahat ng sama ng loob na ibuhos ko na, o move on, move on na. That's the reason why yung between moving on, mas madaling mag-move on daw yung babae kaysa sa lalaki. Kasi yung babae, after the thing, iyakan yan. So after two to three days, sige ako, baliw-baliw, ka na, bakit ba ako umiyak? Ang baliw ko, ay yung pangit ko. <laughs> Di ba? <laughs> Pero yung mga lalaki naman, they try to divert their attention and when they are already lull moments that they are alone, they have to feel the agony of uh, losing. Yun yun. Alright? So, yun yung mga learning natin sa psychology, ano? So, number 90. Which of the following is best describe the role of schools? A, to educate the citizens. B, to fit the citizens into the society. 
to educate the citizen, to change the society, all of the above. The correct answer is all of the above. But again, 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 do not choose immediately all of the above as the correct answer. It could be, maybe there's an all of the above just to distract you, but normally, when you are taking the exam, you have to read the entire choices. You have to eliminate, right? 91. How will you classify the purpose of school as it concerns with the training and preparation of citizens for the world of work? Social purposes, political purposes, cognitive purposes, and that is economic purposes. The correct answer is world of work that is economic purposes. Normally, people work for what? For economic, for economy. People want to join the social dancing for social purposes. People eat with friends for social purposes. People voted for somebody for political purposes. People are putting dolomites in Manila Bay for political purposes. Alright? So that one. So the correct answer here is letter D. 92. So we have eight more remaining uh, items. Number 92. What practice will demonstrate the teacher's genuine concern on the learning of the students? A. Guide students to meet the learning goals. B. Confer progress of students to their parents. Or C. Validates its learning goals were met. Or all of the above. Okay? What, you, what, what is the correct answer there? Here? Guide students to meet their learning goals. Check. Confer progress of students to their parents. Check. Validates if learning goals were met. Check. So still the correct answer is all of the above. 93. Miss Alonso dreams to organize a seminar with a known poet from another country, but she cannot afford to spend for the transportation of the said poet. Which of the following can she use so she won't need to spend much? A. Podcasting. B. Instant messaging. Video conferencing. Distant uh, communication. The correct answer is letter C. Video conferencing. 94. Curriculum is defined as the total learning experience of the children in school. Which part of the curriculum will assure these experiences? A. Curriculum assessment. B. Curriculum plan. C. Curriculum implementation. Or D. Curriculum evaluation. The correct answer is curriculum uh, implementation, total learning experience. Okay, the one is curriculum implementation letter C the one that will assure experiences 95 every curriculum has his as this dimension this is both and planned and implicit but its instructional effect is often evident curriculum the students behavior values and dispositions this dimensions refer to us hidden curriculum societal curriculum Instructional curriculum, institutional curriculum. Okay, what do you think is that? Both unplanned and implicit. But the instructional effect is often evident. The correct answer is letter A, hidden curriculum. Next one, number 96. The understanding by design curriculum approach, the first consideration is about A, the desired result. Testing knowledge, test teaching strategies, or learning experiences. When you talk about the understanding by design or UBD, uh, normally it is a backward design that focuses more on the desired result. The correct answer here is letter A. 97. Who are considered community-based stakeholders in the curriculum development, school boards, industry uh, groups, Government official, civic group. The correct answer is civic group. So our community is very involved or being part of the curriculum development. So one of that is the civic group. That's letter D. Number 98. Teacher Boogie, Boogie wants to establish the reliability of the test in science. Which of the following will accomplish? A. Administer a parallel test. Check. Split the test. Check. Construct a variety of items the same choice and that uh, items. Or your four, administer the same test twice. Check. What is not belong there is number three. So the correct answer is one, 
2, and 4. Letter B. Reliability. The constancy of the test score. 99. Teacher Jana wants to test his student's ability to formulate ideas. Which type of test should she formulate? Essay? Completion type? Multiple choice answer? And D, matching type. So the correct answer for this ability to formulate ideas is, of course, essay. Letter A. So let's proceed to the last number, guys. And I hope you learned something from the 50 items test that we had. What is the meaning of TOS in the parlance of the test construction? The correct answer is A, table of specification. B, table of specifies. Or C, table of specific tests. Or D, table of subject. The correct answer is letter A, table of specification, which you cannot construct a test without having your TOS. Yung iba talaga, napakahilig mag-construct ng test, wala siyang TOS. Kasi ano yun, parang ano lang, uh, parang underground. Pero in the actual board exam, if the questions ask, can you make a question without TOS? The answer is no. There must be table of specification where you can identify your psychomotor and your cognitive and your affective. And that's all guys for this morning. Thank you so much. And I hope you learned something. And I want to record more about these videos and explain further about your about the different concept in professional education. I hope you want uh, I hope you want more and you will learn more. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe our channel and be updated of what we are posting from time to time. So thank you so much. And uh, for those who want to avail our books, we have a uh, books which is amounting to 300 pesos and this composed of uh, 1,000 exam questions, 500 for general ed, 500 for proof ed, and of course, 1,000 trivia. So thank you so much and good day.